Hey guys, today we're gonna be building a scrunchie stand. I have this sweet set of prints here drawn by an even sweeter kid, and we're gonna be making this stand out of some walnut and maple for contrast. These little square pieces here are gonna be our black walnut, and then all the other pieces are gonna be made up of our maple. Let's get to it. So as you can see, we need four pieces of the black walnut. We got the two end stops and the upper and lower cube. So over at the table saw, we'll rip this to width, cut off a chunk, and then glue it to the right thickness. And then we'll repeat that process and get everything down to our final dimensions. Next, we're gonna be working on the upright and two horizontal pieces, which are actually inch and a half diameter cylinders. So the best way I know how to make cylinders is using my homemade table saw lathe. So we'll use this big chunk of maple here. We'll get it cut to rough width, drill both ends for the head and tail stock, get it mounted on the lathe, spin it down, and then we'll even do our final sanding on the table saw lathe as well. Let's get to it. So you can see we have our inch and a half dowel. The next step is gonna be cutting it to length. And I've calculated that we need the vertical piece to be five and a half inches and two horizontal pieces at four and a quarter. So I've got this sacrificial fence set up here as basically a zero clearance. So what I'm gonna do is just measure right off of it and go to my four and a quarter and also my five and a half. Next, I wanna create the base here, which is called out as a seven inch diameter circle. So I've got some scrap pieces here and I think the color on this piece and this half match pretty good. So I'll cut off this end, get rid of that, glue these together, then over at the thickness planer, get them all reduced down to the same height. And then over at the bandsaw, we'll cut them out to the perfect seven inch circle and that'll be the base. Now I've got to draw on a seven inch circle. So what I've got here is a paint can and this is about a quarter inch under seven inches. So what I'm gonna do is lay it in place where I want it. And then I'm gonna make sure to use the pencil at an eighth inch spacing. Do you see how there's that gap between the tip and the edge of the can? And that'll give me my exactly seven inch circle. Now at the router table, I have a chamfer bit set up and we're just gonna give a light chamfer to one of the top. So we've got all of our pieces cut out and ready to be assembled. But before that, I'm gonna give everything a sanding with the random orbit sander where I can and then some light hand sanding everywhere else. So 
So in order to join all these pieces together, I'm going to glue them, but I want to reinforce every joint with a 3 8 inch dowel. So that means marking the center on all these pieces. Now I have this handy dandy center finding gauge, which I can use on all these different pieces. And you just simply line it up like this, make a line, rotate it a couple times, and that's your center. Same thing on the squares. If you didn't have this, you could also draw a line from corner to corner to find your centers, but you basically need this for anything that's round. Also, this piece of wood is gonna end up being my drill gauge. So over at the drill press, I'm gonna drill a through hole, a 3 8 inch hole, same as all the other holes for the 3 8 inch dowel. And this is gonna ensure that when I go to use my hand drill, that I keep the bit completely perpendicular to the surface, giving us a nice dowel joint. So this one still has the threaded hole from the table saw lathe. So I'm just gonna use a regular bit instead of the brad point bit on this one. And that should center it in the hole and open this up to the 3 8 inch that we need it to be. So now I'll just take a sharp center punch and mark exactly where all the centers are. I've got some 3 8 inch dowel rod here and I'm just gonna cut it to length and then over at the strip sander, just ease over the edges so they fit in the hole a little bit better. So in order to assemble this, I think the best approach is to kind of do it in sections. So right here, I've got the base, my dowel, and this lower cube. So we'll get that all covered in glue. And then this is the top upright that goes up here. So this top cube and the upright piece, and there's a dowel in between. So I'll get that glued up. This I'm just gonna weigh down with some weights as my clamp overnight. And then this guy will just throw a quick clamp on to dry overnight. So we've got the base glued up, this little section glued up, and both end caps glued on. Next, we're gonna glue these pieces onto here and clamp the whole thing together before finally taking this whole assembly and gluing it onto the base. So now that it's out of the clamps, I've given everything a final sanding and blown it off with the air gun. The last thing to do is give it a couple coats of spray lacquer and this project is complete. I like it.